Hello friends, this video on integrals part 40 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 49. Let's try to find how will we do definite integrals by substitution. So if I have my fx dx from a to b and that is complex integral that requires substitution, so here are the steps we follow. We'll use y is equal to fx or x is equal to gy, some, some uh, integral to reduce this to a simple form. Also, we'll assume that with this, this guy will change, right? Because now it is not x, it will be, let's suppose, gx is equal to t, let's suppose. So my g dx, x dx will become dt, and my this guy will also change. Instead of in the, in the t, uh, x, it will be in the form of t. Right, it will be g of a and g of t kind of thing, correct? So that will change, and then it will be a new integral altogether in ft dt form with new values here. It is not a and b, it is some different values here, and then we'll integrate. We'll take some example on this. This, let's suppose we have x by x square plus 1 dx. In this case, I know that if I put x square plus 1 is equal to t, this becomes 2x dx is equal to dt. And if I see x dx part here, I can easily take the advantage of this. I got this guy as dt by 2. So what I am here is dt by 2 and this becomes t. But now the catch here is this guy is for x, right? I have to find the values of t here. So I can see that when x is equal to 0, t is nothing but x square plus 1, correct? So when x is equal to 0, my t is nothing but 0 square plus 1, that is 1. When t is equal to 1, this guy, x equal to 1, sorry, my t is nothing but 1 square plus 1, that is 2. So my t is varying from 1 to 2. My x was varying from 0 to 1, but t is varying from 1 to 2. Please note here, I am not taking the variation of x, I am taking the variation of t. So here the t is varying from 1 to 2, not 0 to 1. So I will be taking 1 to 2 here, correct? So this becomes dt by t from 1 to 2, correct? And this is nothing but if you dt by t is log t from 1 to 2. So this becomes log 2 minus log 1, sorry 1 by 2 was constant here. So this into 1 by 2. So this is nothing but 1 by 2 log 1 is 0 actually so log 2 and the, so the cache here is don't take the same values here in the upper and lower and lower limit the moment you change the values from x to t here so you have to take the corresponding values of t for those values of x so in case when x is equal to 0 t was 1 right so i took here 1 when x is equal to 1 my t came out to be 2 so i took 2 here that is the cache Let's take one more example. Here we have sine m to the power cos m form, right? Sine m to the power cos m form. And I'm told that if this is odd, for example, this guy is odd here, so I have to take sine theta as t. This rule we know, correct? Because if this guy's cos is odd, so we'll take sine as t. That we know. And we'll reduce this further in this fashion that this guy becomes pi by 2 to 0, root sine 5, cos to the power 5 I can write as nothing but cos 4 into cos 5. Why cos 4? Because cos 4 I can write as nothing but, I'll show you, cos 4 theta is nothing but 1 minus sine square theta whole square. And this is what we want, we want everything in form of t, so this becomes 0 to pi by 2 root of sine theta 1 minus sine square theta cos theta d theta. Correct. Now I have to take sine theta as equal to t. What I get if I take sine theta as equal to t, I take get cos theta d theta as dt. Cos theta d theta I have, I will replace this guy with dt. So what I get is sine theta is root sine theta is root t into 1 minus t square whole square, correct, and dt. Now I have to change these values here. This guy is for theta, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2, alright. 
theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. How does the t varies? So if you see t is sin theta, correct? t is sin theta. So t is equal to sin 0. If you take this guy is 0, sin 0 is what? 0. So this guy varies from 0 to the next limit is pi by 2. t is sin pi by 2. Sin pi by 2 is what? 1. So 0 to 1. So here my t does not vary from 0 to pi by 2, t varies from 0 to 1 when theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. Correct? Theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and t varies from 0 to 1. So this is what I get. And solving this is not that difficult. This is nothing but if you see, this becomes 2 to the power 1 by 2 into 1 plus 2 to the power 4 minus 2t square dt. And this if you solve for this is nothing but t to the power 1 by 2 plus t to the power 4 plus 1 by 2 that is 9 by 2 minus 2t t 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 5 by 2 dt and solving this is not that difficult so let's do this this will become t to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus t to the power 9 by 2 9 plus 2 11 by 2 by 11 by 2 minus 2 into t to the power 5 by 2 plus 1 that is 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 this is t and this value I have to find from 0 to 1. So if you put the values you will get this becomes uh, 2 by 3, this becomes 2 by 11 and this becomes 4 by 7 and minus you get everything 0 actually, 0 plus 0 plus 0 and this value is nothing but 64 by 239 and that is my answer. So if you see here finding this was not difficult. We replaced sin theta with t and also we replaced the range. It was lower limit was from 0 to pi by 2, it became 0 to 1 because when theta varies from 0 to pi by 2, t varies from 0 to 1. And since I am finding uh, this integral with the dt, I have to give the t range. One more example, sin verse 2x by 1 plus x square dx. I hope now by now you must be comfortable in finding the integral of this. In this case, if you see, we know what we can do is 1 plus x square form and what we can do is x is equal to tan theta we can put. We know this kind of things we have done. If you put x is equal to tan theta, you get dx as 6 square theta theta. So this becomes, I will find the value of this, uh, the upper and lower limit later. This becomes sine inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta and this becomes uh, dx becomes 6 square theta d theta correct 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta we know is nothing but sine 2 theta correct this guy is nothing but sine 2 theta so this becomes sine inverse of sine 2 theta 6 square theta d theta and this is nothing but sine inverse of sine 2 theta is nothing but 2 theta 6 square theta d theta correct now I have to find the upper and lower limit also. Since x is equal to tan theta, the moment you put theta is uh, or theta is equal to nothing but tan inverse x. So I'll write here. Let me put the values here. Theta is nothing but tan inverse x. So if theta is zero, tan inverse zero is zero. Theta is one, tan inverse one is what? Pi by four. Correct. See, tan inverse 0 is 0 and tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. So since my theta is, uh, x is varying from 0 to 1, theta is varying from 0 to pi by 4. So it is 0 to pi by 4, 0 to pi by 4. So I have to find the value of this 2 theta sec square theta d theta. So what I can do is the product way. So I can use the multiplication uh, integral. So I'll take which guy is the first function? I know I late I L A T E integral. There is there any integral? No. Logarithmic? No. Algebraic? Yes. Two theta. So what I'll take two anyway. I'll take outside. This becomes theta integration of six square theta d theta minus d by d theta of theta into integration of 
6 square theta d theta and the whole thing is again integrated with d theta. Correct? This is nothing but 2 theta into tan theta and this, this will be from 0 to pi by 4 axis minus uh, differentiation of theta becomes 1 integration of 6 by theta is tan theta so tan theta and integral of tan theta d theta from 0 to pi by 1 and this is nothing but 2 into theta tan theta minus integral of tan theta is nothing but log of cos theta and this is from 0 to pi by 4 so let's put the values here this becomes 2 into pi by 4 tan pi by 4 minus log of cos pi by 4 the whole thing minus 2 into 0 tan 0 minus log of cos 0 cos 0 is 1 log of 1 is again 0 so I'll, I'll put the values and this is again 0 this is 0 this is 0 so I can ignore this part here correct so this is nothing but pi by 2 minus tan by 4 is 1 anyway and log cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and this is 2 into this. So if you instead of saying 2 into this I can say 2 square correct and this is 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 this is nothing but pi by 2 minus log 1 by 2 and there is nothing but pi by 2 plus log. Why? Because if you take this something but log 1 minus log 2 that is minus minus become plus. So this is also nothing great here. We use substitution first and then we got uh, change this uh, range from 0 to 1 to 0 to pi by 4. We got this value. This is nothing but we can solve this by multiplication way. We took this guy as first function, this guy as second function because by our theorem I late algebraic was the first guy we got 2 theta. So I took this guy as the first and this guy as the second function. If you are having issues in this, watch my previous video where I have explained how to find the integral of such kind of uh, integrands and then I solve this. Let's take Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.